My name is Livingstone Ouma. I'm the chairman. And uh, today being the magistrate's week, we decided that as residents of Embakasi North, we can also come here, bring our petition, file our petition with the High Court, because as, as a people, we are feeling that there are some things that are not happening uh, or are not being followed up. First, by the way, we have, a, we have an issue with the ESCC. They told us ab about a case that uh, our MP has, that is 51 million, that was all over the media. We've never seen any prosecution. We don't know who is holding up the case. That is why we wanted it followed up. Our MP also have a case in court worth 40 million. The case has been there since 2018, so we were wondering what is happening. So we wanted to petition the courts to expedite this matter because we are feeling that uh, nothing is moving. We also have grievances as people because we are feeling that uh, the delay in those cases are giving the MP impunity to do more impunity because he is, he is now engaging in more impunity. In a school like Dandora Primary, the NGCDF did a class, a block, a whole block, that didn't materialize. The, the, school, the, the kids are not using it. In a school like uh, Wangu, the NGCDF did another class, the class, is, the, the class is wobbling, the class is down. The, we have a wall in James Gishuru falling. There is a, there is a school in Kariobangi, in Kariobangi North called Marura Primary. That school is swampy. The field, the kids can't play in that field. So we are feeling that the MP is having impunity because he's taking more money. Uh, we were told that the MP took 10 million for classes that didn't materialize. The classes are not there. The classes were meant to build Wangu Primary School. So we are feeling that as leaders again, the MP is letting us down. Our classes, like uh, we were talking about the special unit in, in Wangu Primary that has one block for all the classes, we are feeling that nothing is happening. So that is why we decided to petition the courts and we filed our affidavit here with the registrar of, uh, we filed with the registrar of courts to follow up on the 40 million case, the 51 million pending case, and we are, we are also urging the auditor to come, and, to come and check on the records of the NGCDF so that we can know that what is happening in Embakasi North because everything is stagnant. It is very easy prosecuting someone. So we feel that, we feel that the file is being held somewhere and we feel that no, it's high time that some things should start moving. The house is being demolished in Dandora. He's not coming. He's absent. The last time we saw him was in 2022. He is not coming. Yesterday we saw him over the media dishing out 3.5 million to UDA delegates for the chairmanship, while we have kids in the Bakasino that are not going to school. That is still concerning us. The NGCDF, all the contracts of Mbakasino are done by one person, the MP. Even the, 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 the case, the 51 million case, the kickbacks were to the, to the daughters. The first, the 40 million, the 40 million case, the contract was to the brothers. So that is corruption. We want the ESCC to come and investigate what is happening at the NGCDF. And we want to tell, to tell our very honorable Reverend Oginde that it is high time you come to Embakasi North. Come, come tell us what is happening. Because why are these cases pending? Why are things not moving? Why are we having new corruption cases? It is because it is like the ESCC is toothless. The MP anachukua watu wake, anapeleka kwa hoteli, anawapatia alawansi ya 1,000, wanapitisha zile vitu wangependa kufanya. Istoshe, the same budgeting process, those companies that are, are awarded those tenders, they entirely belong to the MP. Na sasa tunauliza, jisisi kama vijana, kundile 30% ya youth, women na PWD, inenda wapi. Because you cannot be the MP, kwa ofisi yako, which is, you have the, all the rights, kwa ofisi yako, the CDF manager, and also your PA is your brother, so Adam Halituna Finyo, you, you, you cannot know. So wewe before ukimbie Nairobi Mzima kutafuta kiti ya chairman, kwanza kuja buma yako Mbakasinov, tengeneza maneno. Fanyia, fanyia watu wako kazi. ESEC tunawaita. Because mumekuja mkataja, we had the first case of 40 million. Hatuku wana maendeleo yote. Tumekuwa na kesi ya pili of 51 million. Hipa za tunongelelea siya mtu binafsi. This is the money allocated to Mbakasinov. Ijenge madarasa, ijenge barabara, Ijenge kama ni office ya chief, hatujona iyo. So before ukimbia huku all over mkisema rorere, the supremacy ya wakikuyu. Kuja fanya sisi kazi, na mkifanya kazi, you will not have to ask for our votes. Tutawapatia voluntary. CDF ina 
inatumiwa inatumi na yeye na familia yao. Kama kuna kazi, mkisaa enda public participation ya kiitana, ni ukweli ya napeana dhau dhau. Na kwa wodi natolewa watu ishirini. Mkisha afika pale mkipitisha kitu fulani, hampatangi chenye nyinyi mulipitisha. Na unakuja kusikia pesa ilitumika kwa shule fulani na hakuna kitu ilitumika. Kutoka hapo, zaidi ya hapo, kama juzi kuna ukuta ilikuwa inaanguka. Iyo nguta ukuta vila tulipiga kerele, tukapiga kerele juu ilikuwa iangukia watoto shule. Ilibidi ya kakuja na mabati reject. Mimi nikajaribu kuliza. Hii mkuta itajengwa ni familia ama ni wana festu wadia hiyo wenye tunaka watapewa kazi. Ukiuliza ni matusi. Mweshi mwagakuya wakati unakuja kuwa bakura. Unakuwa ngome nyenyekea sana kwa wa, sana sana kwa wa mama. Lakini kifika ni kazi hakuna mama yoyote. Asha apata kazi wagakuya. Zure ni baya vile tuli jegwa na kaju ijaifanyo hata renovation. Nikikuwanyasa kama gine iko hapa ya Ronald Gara. Shua li hata ya bayu naezao na ibu. Nako na CDF. Nako na kometi. Hawa makometi kazi ya kometi yao ni gani? Ya kuweda, kwa ni wabiyangi shule vile zimeka. Mimi na wabatu ASCC tafadhalini na muoba. Igiriye ni kati. Hawa MP ya kona 13 years na emba kasi notu mzima. Hakuna hata mtu moja. Haneza sema MP alimtua kwa mawe. Mimi ningeomba tafadhali mubunge. Hizi miaka tatu mebakisha ama katha. Before we go to the next election. Hawa vijana wetu waje kushinde wakiuliwa. Waje kushinde wakisema wana makazi. Tafadhali kama chairman wa trade. Saidia hawa vijana. Mimi kilio yangu kubwa ni kwa vijana wetu. Kwa sababu wandu watu tunadeal nao daily basis. Na tunachoka sana kushinda tukizika vijana wetu. Kushinda tukiwatuwa kwenye magereza. Kwa sababu wamekosa kazi ya kufanya. Alafu kisikia unasikia mbunge wetu. Yeye ndio chairman wa trade. Inauma sana. Tumejaziwa barabara mingi. Ambazo watu haziendi mahali. Kutembea mpaka sinoth. Kuna barabara mpaka imeenda kwa mto. Na barabara yenyewe imetengenezwa. Kama ni kabro, ni kabro substandard. Ni kabro imekuja imevunjika. Wenye kutengeneza hiyo ni hiyo tu familia. So unapata hii pesa inarudi tu hapo. Hakuna mtu inasaidia katika constituency yetu. Tunauliza hizi mabarabara mingi zimejazwa. Zinasaidia nani?